Hello everyone, I love flowers. Flowers are the most beautiful creation of the nature and I really love all these colorful flowers here and there. So do you know what we are going to do today? Today in this session, I will show you how we can create a beautiful flower pattern in Artist Lab. Beautiful flower patterns such as this or this. So stay tuned till end of this video. Share and subscribe if you are liking this session and support the channel. So let's get started. This beautiful flower valley. Isn't it look beautiful? Or check this beautiful flower garden. They are really amazing. I am in love with these artist lab drawings. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Open a new project in artist lab and get started quickly. We will see how we can create a beautiful flower. And then you can use your um, imagination to create any beautiful drawing. Open a new project in Artist Lab. So here I have my new project opened in Artist Lab. So let's get started creating a flower. What we will have to do? First, uh, how does a flower look like? A flower look like something like this. It has a stem and it has got some petals. Something like this. Pardon me for this not so good drawing of this flower using this pen. But... Yes, using the code, we are going to create an amazing flower drawing. So a, a flower looks something like this. So what we will have to do? My first step has to be this artist needs to jump at the position where you want the flower stem to be started. So currently my artist is at 200, 200 position. What I will do, I will make this artist jump to a position from where the petal will start. So what is the command that we will use? Jump. Okay, so jump to um, 200 over and 400 down because, or maybe 380 down. Okay, maybe my artist can start the flower from this location. So yes, jump to 200 over and 380 down. What next? We want to create a flower stem first. It is very simple to create a flower stem. So we will go to actions and move forward. Say for example, um, 120 pixels. But this is a, actually a sleeping line. Do you want a sleeping flower? No, I want a standing flower. So before this stem, what I will do, I will make the artist take a turn. Take a turn so that it creates a, a vertical line or a standing line. So again, go to actions and we will use this command, turn left by 90 degrees. So yes, you can see when the artist before moving forward, when the artist is taking a 90 degree turn, now this stem is not sleeping, it is a standing, which is good enough. Another, I will have to pick a brush, you know, I will have to take a pen, which is of uh, stem color. So my stem could probably be of uh, something brown or I can keep it green as well. So let me keep it brown. So to get the shade of brown, I will make a Google search where uh, I will make a Google search for RGB color codes. Okay, here I have my table chart. So um, yes, I think this, this is a good color. Let me quickly note down the color codes. This color 153760. I am so sorry. 15376 and 0. This is what we will have to use. 15376 and 0. Yes, that looks like a stem color. So we are sorted here. Now I will have to take another color for you know, that should be the color of the flower that you want to make up. So I am looking for a pretty pink flower, 255-0-127. So 255-0-127, it has to be, now I am taking another color. What was it? 255-0-255-102-255. Okay, this is also good. 255 0 and 255. Okay, so we have a, the stem created and now we have this artist at the center of the flower. What do I want next? Next, I want to draw the flower petals. Something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 petals. So if we want 6 petals to be drawn, uh, what do you think? Uh, how much turn, how much degree turn this artist will have to take? 
So tell me what is 360 divided by 6? It is 60. So yes, the artist will have to take actually a 60 degree turn. So before taking a 60 degree turn, let me make the artist move forward. So we will go to actions. The artist will move forward, say for example, maybe 30 pixels. Okay, and then again, it will come backward 30 pixels. Okay, it is at the same position forward 30, backward 30. Now here comes the code to take a turn. So the artist is now going to take a 60 degree start. And how many petals do I want? I want six petals. So this entire code will repeat six times. Remember the chakra, how we had created the six, uh, uh, 20, 24, sorry, how we had created the 24 lines of the Ashok chakra. It is exactly in the same way, but instead of 24, here we have six petals, okay? You can also create five petals if you want, so, you know, something like this. If you want five petals, this will become 72 degrees. So, but here I want to keep six petals. I like these six petals, okay? So, uh, here I have a flower sort of, figure. But does it actually look like a flower? Does it actually look like a flower? No, it looked like a flower skeleton. So we will have to give some, some uh, petals to it. What do we do? What do we do if we want to give it some petals? So here I have a trick for it. Go to brushes and set the width. So here I am setting the width as I will set it. Maybe I will start with 10. Does it looks good? No. 20 better. Let me try this 30. Yeah, 30 is much better. So do you see a pattern? Move forward 30 pixels means the size of the petal is 30 and the width also I'm setting to 30, which gives it as a flower-like shape. Okay, so we have a flower-like shape here. So move forward. Uh, now tell me one thing. When we saw this, Flower Valley Garden. In this, the flowers are of, you know, different, different colors and different, different sizes as well. So if I want the sizes to be different here as well, I want a smaller flower. So yeah, probably I can say move forward 10 pixels and move backward 10 pixels so that we have a 10 pixel size flower. But again, we have a problem here. Now, again, it doesn't look like a flower pattern. It look like almost a circle. So what do we do? We will again change the width to 10. Okay, we will change the width to 10. But now the petal is so long. So instead of 120, maybe I will have to say 30 pixels so that, you know, the stem size is also in proportion to the flower. Okay, so do you notice one thing here? Uh, when I want to make a flower in appropriate ratio and proportions, few things that I have to change is, this move forward means which is the size of the stem okay and this which is the my size of the petal and this which is my width size and if you notice one thing when i wanted when i wanted uh you know a, a petal size 30 if i want a petal size 30 my width also has to be 30 so that you know it is looking like a better flower and my um Stem size is actually around four times of my petal size. So this is what uh, we are defining a pattern. So, but what do we do with this pattern? Are we need to create so many flowers. So what we will have to do? We will have to put all this code where we will have to put all this code inside a function. So yes, let's create a function. I am going to create a function. That function is going to draw a flower. So the name of my function is draw a flower. Let me first remove all these annotations. I'm not liking these annotations. Let me clear them. We don't need it now. Okay, so draw a function. And what I will do, I have created this and this entire code. Um, yes, from here will be pasted inside the function. So I have a trick here, which I have been probably told uh, Earlier as well, this was invented by one of my students only. And I want to thank her for this trick. If you want to copy, you know, multiple blocks together, what you do, you just put it uh, inside a pseudo repeat code. Pseudo means, you know, just pseudo, you are not going to use it. You are just using it so that you can copy this entire code. So I made a control C. I will again go to functions. 
and I will edit this draw fun flower control V and voila I have my all the blocks copied in one go. Okay, show me a thumbs up like this video if you actually like this trick, which is uh, which is which is by Ritvi. Yes, Ritvi told me this trick. So Ritvi, thanks to you for this wonderful trick. I often use it, and now I believe many of many of others are also going to use your trick. So we have this code where we have we will draw a flower. So now instead of all this code. What we will have to do, we will have to just call this function draw a flower and my flower will be drawn. But if we want to use this uh, function for different petal size, okay, what we will have to do, we will have to pass on a, the petal size as a parameter. So here we are going to create a input parameter with name size. And here now instead of move forward 30 pixels, what we will do, move forward size pixels. Okay, so this way what will happen using the same function, we will be able to create multiple, multiple flowers of different, different sizes. Because in this function, I am not restricting the size of my flower. It is provided, being provided as an input. Okay, so let's see how does it look like now. So now to this uh, draw flower function, we will have to pass an input parameter that will be size. So let me pass 30. It looks nice. If I pass, say, for example, um, 80, it doesn't look nice. So I will have to fix this thing. I will have to fix this thing. So how do I fix this? Let me click on add it and see what is the problem. Yes, the problem is the set width. Set width also has to be whatever is the size of my pattern has to be the width as well. Okay, so we are setting the width. Now let's see, yes, looks better. But again, there is a problem that size of the stem. So my size of the stem, which is this, move forward 120 pixel, also has to be as per the size of my petal. So we saw the pattern, right? That it is a size multiply by around four. So we will go to mathematics. We will take this operator and we will use size multiply by four. So size multiply by 4. Let me close and see. It looks better. Let me now test it with different, different size here. 10 works good. 20 is also fine. 30 is also fine. 40 is also fine. So that's great. We have a flower, uh, but this flower is again of the same color. Uh, so, okay, fine. So, this is a homework for you guys. Uh, now, again to this function, draw a flower, you need to create a parameter you, in which you can actually pass the color. That could be a simple color, text color, you know, like red, yellow, green that you may pass or a random color that you may pass or you may also pass these RGB components. So, your homework is you are going to create few more parameters so that you can control the you can control the uh, size, uh, size we have already controlled, sorry, so that you can control the uh, color of this flower. The color of this flower could be uh, any different color which you pass on as, an, as input parameters. I hope you like this video and once you are done, you can also try creating the drawing something like this. This is a flower valley created by one of the students. It's so amazing, so beautiful. I'm in love with it. And you can also create something like this flower garden. And if you want to me to create a continuation video on the same topic so that I can explain you how to create a flower garden or a, a mountain valley, please do write me in the comments and I will be happy to uh, create another chapter where we will actually create the mountain valleys, flower valleys and these beautiful flower gardens.